Hey guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here. Thank you for joining me. So today guys, I recently asked you which palette you would like to see first in my Shop My Stash rotation and I was really, really surprised. At this point, it's been about a week since I shot my stash and I've been struggling with my health so I've not really put that much eyeshadow on. I've done tutorials but on the Rude Cosmetics I've done looks with the Rude Cosmetics City of Dreamy palette but that was in last time's Shot My Stash rotation and I've also done a look with the Glam Shop Multi Pastels that I have for Multi Pastel Monday um, so that's going up today as we speak but I asked you which palette you would like to see me use next for my Shot My Stash palettes and amazingly for the longest time you chose this one so this one is the Revolution Disney The Lion King Jungle Princess palette can you see that? Um, so you chose that one first it's actually um, where's my phone? right so that Disney Lion King palette was in the lead for so long and now there's a tie between the BH Cosmetics Avocado Toast um, so they're both at 29% and then there's a tie between the other two palettes as well so we've got Sample Beauty Equalizer Volume 2 that's at 21% and so is the self made Give Me Glow Pastel Dreams Dupe palette that I created so that's at 21% as well um, I'll put this on the screen so you can see it but yeah that's that's it there um, so we've got 14 votes in total thank you to everyone that's voted and I would love for you to keep on voting when these um, shot my stash palette picks as you will go out I really do like you guys to choose what eyeshadow palette you want to see first at least that way I know that you want to watch it um, but because they're both at 21% and because this one was in the lead for so long I'm going to use this one. They're both relatively new palettes. I think this is newer to the collection. The BH Cosmetics Avocado Toast. Um, I got that, I think, around November, maybe December time last year. So I do need to use it. Um, I was going to save it till fall, but we will use it this go around. And I think I want to use the greens this time, guys, in this. Obviously, I'm going to use the greens first. So, let's get some bushes. I'm just put them all in here. Let's get this cloth. I'm just going to use this cleansing spray that I've been using. It's really good. Just takes all the colour off. Right, so the first shade, I haven't even got a primer on. Let me get my e.l.f. concealer. I'm not ready today, guys, at all. Shall we use a mirror in this palette? Yeah, we can use a mirror in this palette. I'm just going to use some of this e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer, my shade is in Fair Rose. I do use it but I can't use it by itself, it's too thick. shows every little line I've got under here. Um, so it shows every little line of mine so I use it with the hydrating concealer. But I have noticed since I've run out of my white base that I've been using by W7, this is a really good one. To use as an eyeshadow base so I think I'm just gonna continue to use that and then when I run out of it I'll buy another one as backup and just use it as an eyeshadow base so I'm just blending it out I mean it's a shame they don't do this in white to be honest I think this is the lightest shade you can get I think I can zoom in a little bit more while we're doing this because yes, in yesterday's video I noticed we were too far out and also I noticed that I wasn't central so I'm sorry about that. I think I am today. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so we've done that. So on top of that, what I want to do is go in with my Too Faced Chocolate Boy, just into the white chocolate shade. If I can find a brush. 
let's just go in with this one. I need to clean this off as well. I'm just going in with this Real Techniques base brush. So I'm actually quite impressed with how well I've done since the last update on this palette. You'll see that really soon or if not before this video after. I just want to use my other, I just want to use this pan that palette a few more times and then we'll do the update on both. Right, so that's that done. Okay, so I think I'm going to go into Lioness first, that one there, sorry. So we're going to go into Lioness first. The only thing I've done with this palette is swatch it, so I don't know how it applies on the lids. Ooh. Just pressing it on to start with. It's a nice yellow matte green. I really, really like that. I don't know whether I'm doing two looks with this palette or three. It's probably just going to be the two. That's really pigmented. Yeah, it's really pigmented that. The same on the left eye. Oh, that's really, really pretty. Okay, let's run this through. I've got a colour switch here and I've also got a towel on my lap. They are a little bit powdery, guys. I want to put this deeper green on the RV and probably through the lash line as well. That one is called Elephant Graveyard. I feel like I need a better brush than that. This one I'd do it. I'm going to um, take that colour off we used before. It was just a cream ivory shade anyway and I'm going to go in with Elephant Graveyard now. It's a really deep green so I just need to be careful here. It's not that pigmented I don't think. blends it blends into the other shade though really really nicely I need to choose better times to film. Kids are going mental again out there. Um, right, where's that brush I had yesterday? That wasn't it, but that should do it. I think this one is a W7 one, so it's got this fluffy side here and this flat pack inside. I want to use a flat pack inside. And first of all, I want to go into right hand, that one there. They're a bit stiff. I do find that a lot though with Revolution eyeshadows. The only ones I don't find it with is the I Heart Revolution palettes. They're quite nice. And I think they're the cheapest ones that Revolution do as well. They used to be £8.99 but now they've been put up to £10. Oh that is pretty.
and then we'll do the left eye and then we'll go to this one which is called best friend sorry I keep blinding you with a mirror that one's called best friend so we'll just do this side I think I want to spritz the brush try and get them more pigmented Yeah, that looks good. Just going to go in with this Primark Glow Intensity Setting Spray. We should be coming to the end of this now. We'll go back in with right hand. Make it a bit more metallic. It's not really um, giving me that much more payoff. Okay, let's take that colour off and now we're going to go in with Best Friend. Sorry, again, should really show it you like that. Maybe I'll do that <laughs> in future, sorry about that guys. I didn't pay barely anything for it, probably not even £5. So, can we really complain? They're really powdery and really chunky, these shimmers. I wouldn't even call them. Like this one I'm using now, it's kind of in between a matte and a shimmer. Like a demi matte. Right, I'm going to spritz it. And then I want to blend it out with True Love, that one there, oh that one's really powdery, Let's blend it out nicely though. it's raining it's raining I don't have an umbrella I don't even know where my umbrella is right that looks good I mean it's not the best eyeshadow in the world guys but like I said I only paid five pound for it um, I think I'm going to go in with this blue, sorry, again. I think I'm going to go in with that blue just in the inner corners. I think we'd be able to get away with just doing one look. And I might put this purple on the lash line. Yeah, let's do that. Maybe use those two purples together on the lash line. So guys, we're just going to do one look with this palette. I'm already a week behind, so doing another look tomorrow would put me even further behind. So yeah, we'll just do the one look. Need in the corner. Right, so main gal is that blue there. That could do with some setting spray. That one seems I mean it's crumbly. But it seems the better formula out of the rest of the shimmers that I've tried so far. Right, and then I'll just go on with this brush again, wipe it off. 
So I've wiped it off. We're going to go in with this on the lash line. So first of all, let's go in with Royal. That one there. That nice Royal Purple. Put that down on the lash line. And then we'll put the Purple Shimmer on over the top. Which I don't normally do. Normally I try and do two days, two looks with it. But I feel like I've pretty much used most of the palette. So I may as well just try and use. The only shade I haven't used them would be Serafina, that one there. So we've pretty much used eight eyeshadows out of the nine. Right, now take that off and then we're going to go into the shimmer, which is called Queen. Yeah, that one is really, really stiff as well. If this is not going to show up, I'm going to put the brown over the top of it. And it seems to be showing up. Just I don't think I'm a fan of it guys I'll keep it for the cute packaging but I don't think I'd reach for it again I mean the mats are nice so I'd probably use them but the shimmers they're just not good. This one is flaky, and the other ones and the other ones are just really, really stiff. It's quite disappointing, in fact. Um, I'm just wondering if I couldn't use the brown as well. Could completely ruin it. Okay. So the brown is called Serafina. That one there. Just dip into it ever so slightly. Gosh. I think I'm going to have to go back in with True Love. That one there just blended out. Right, I know they're only young kids, but I wish they would piss off. Sounds like they're right on my yard. <laughs> 